Hey guys, so I'm from Red Moto. So today we're going to be working on this 2022 Toyota Tundra Prop Grill Removal and Installation. If you guys like the video, go ahead and like, subscribe, and turn on that notification. And if you guys need any prepaid auto body parts for your car, you can take a look at this grill. Go to redmoto.com, your prepaid auto body parts source. The link is up above and also down below. Let's go ahead and get started. It's pretty crazy, like the whole front end of the Tundra comes right off. But we do need to take off the surround right here and also this little, um, the grill area. So we're gonna flip it upside down. All right. So on this car right here, or this truck, all it is back here is gonna be a lot of screws. So it's like a bunch of screws just goes all around that you just need a screwdriver to take off. So it's a bunch of screws and also this sensor. Go ahead and pinch it and take that off. So I guess this is also a video on how to take off an end cap. Front bumper end cap. Pull that up. So that's the front bumper end cap right there. We're gonna do that on the other side also. So on the back of that uh, grill, there's this piece right here, and just take that off with the. 10 millimeter so there's a couple right here right there right there and up here let me turn it this way you guys can see a little bit better Right up. So there's a sensor right here. We're gonna go ahead and unplug that one. And then take this sensor off right here. I can just unscrew it. There we go. I like to put this back just so I don't lose any of my screws. Quite a few more screws on this side that I didn't take off. So up here on top there's gonna be it's gotta follow along the uh the grill area and you'll see like all these little they're very visible they're like silver screws so you just gotta take all of them off all around okay so let's see maybe this way is a better view yeah Okay, and just follow along and just find all those screws. So if you guys go around the uh, grill area, like this silver piece right here, down here, you're going to have these pins right so you just push on this thing right here and see how it just clips down gotta find all of them so there's like another one right here see you see how it's coming off you just gotta find all of them Alright, so you guys see that one right there? This is the upper piece. So we took that off. And if you guys go back there, it says those uh those bolts or those screws holding it down and then these push pins. These pins right here. And just gonna press down on those. Okay? So that's one piece that we need off. Okay. 
So yeah, there's just these like pins right here you gotta take off. But then there's also, yeah, I'm, I miss one of these screws right here. Take off this screw. Gonna make sure all these like screws right here are off. Just come right off. Oh, yeah, I just need to put a little bit of pressure on it. One piece so all it is is these things right here these little clips you got to push them back and then with your other hand so if you guys can see it was like right here and I was pressing down on this once you release this one right here you get more leverage that so you guys continue to push down until all these come off so let's do that on the other side all right this may you just all this and then that, that comes right off Okay, so next step that we're gonna be doing is taking off this go right here. And it looks like it's just clipped on by these pins right here. Yeah. So let me see. I need to take off the sensor right here. That sensor has to go away. middle girls again they're just held down by these clips right here you just gotta push it down and then push it down on them it's gotta follow along so there's gonna be sides right here right here and then there's gonna be tiny ones right here but I think those are pretty easy to take off okay, just follow along on I'm gonna adjust it this way up there's gonna be easy. I'll show you guys well, as soon as I take off the grill what I'm talking about. So whenever you push one down, whenever you unclip one, push it down on the top like that. So it, it releases itself. So like up up here just those tiny ones and when I bang it down see, they come right off yeah it's just stuck Right. So as you guys can see, this middle girl right here, once we take off all those screws, it's just held on by all these clips. You see? And so there's like screws, those uh those bright silver ones. You just take all, all them off and it should be a lot easier for you guys but it's just held on by these clips so just press down on them the like tiny ones long ones and they're all around on the side as you guys can see all right all right so here's our grill right here the surrounding or the frame basically of the front grill so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take this off right here and that's really easy to take off this is going to be again all these clips in the back all we do is push down on that tab and all of them should release all right so i laid it on a uh, stand right here with some towels microfiber towels so it doesn't scratch up the uh, painted portion of this uh, grill so 
So we're gonna go ahead and put the main grill on first. And all that does is it snaps into place. So make sure it lines up with all the holes. So you guys can see right here, see this tab right here? That's a prime example of what you're trying to do is line it up with this hole. So you're gonna go all around and you're gonna make sure all the tabs line up with this hole. And then once it does line up, just go ahead and uh, should be really easy to push it in. Then this tundra uh, valence right here can go ahead and get pushed back into place. So now you guys have this surrounding on the side. Oh. So this one actually goes on the lower portion of the grill. So remember you have that top portion which is really long, goes around. This is going to be the lower portion. Again, these just snaps into place. Let me show you guys. These tabs right here, you gotta line up with the holes. Oh, so make sure, don't pound on it, trying to force it in there. It should just easily go in there. So let's go ahead and put that on the other side too. All right, so now we got this top piece. Again, just line it up with the holes, okay? Okay, so now you're gonna flip it upside down. And these end caps, guys, goes on the side. But as you guys can see, let me demonstrate this. Let me see if I can demonstrate this with one hand. Actually, not a good idea. So I'm just gonna go and take it off. All right. So if you guys come over here, you're gonna see like these these holes right here. All you do is line up with these holes. Okay. Now you take these bolts or screws and screw these things back in place. And go ahead and plug that in. It should just snap into place. There you go. Alright guys, so you're going to start putting all these other screws all around the grill. It's going to be a lot of them, so... The best indication of where they go... Pretty simple. See, if it looks like this right here. That's probably where one of your bolt, your screws that looks like this goes in there. And then right up here, there's two more on top of the uh, on top of the emblem. Then 
right here. It's gonna be this sensor right here that goes right up here. There you go. Another one right here. And then right over here is this sensor right here. Two tons right here on the side. All right guys, this is the lower portion of the bumper. And if you guys look right here, see these tabs? One, two, three. They are evenly separated. What you're gonna do, you're just gonna come over here. You have to line it up with this bracket right here. One, sorry, one, two, and three and they snap into place in there so let's go ahead and install these so you guys can see i'm wearing slippers that's how easy it is to install this front bumper keep two bolts handy like this one right here so i can just go ahead and screw on the top portion so in case it just drop it doesn't drop all the way Oh man, that looks a lot better than when it was OEM style with that painted silver color. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and... Uh, first we're going to have to plug up these wires right here. Before I forget, these push pins right here go into place also. So they go right here. wire to plug in right here well a couple of wires to plug in there's two of them over here so now on the side right here I'm gonna go ahead and push that into place Just like that. So remember, you guys have fender flares. If you guys remove that, well, you should have removed it to put the bumper, uh, take the bumper off. But right here, you're gonna have one, two screws on top, but then on the bottom one, you can go ahead and put that in. And do that on the other side. So now on the bottom, we're gonna go ahead and put all those bolts back into place. So on the bottom, we're gonna go ahead and put all those bolts into place, and it's gonna be these four. We gotta put this cover on. So remember, you don't paint these. Just do not paint. They're for your sensor right here. Then, finishing touch the emblem. All 
All right, guys. So that's how you take off a 2022 Toyota Tundra. Actually, the whole front end you have to take off. Take off the grill, the end caps right here, the surrounding. What else you got to take off? Yeah, basically everything got to come right off, which is pretty cool on these Tundras. They're really easy to work on on the uh, front end. So if you guys have any questions, comment down below. I'll answer all those questions for you. Thank you guys for watching.